Hey, you over there. Yeehaw and whatnot. Now I know you're not talking to me. I reckon I think I do be talking right to you. Well. You know the saying. This here wasteland ain't big enough for the two of us. So, that's the way it's gonna be. That is, unless you're yellow. So it looks like we got ourselves an old-fashioned draw. Or should I say, yeehaw, Grebos, and welcome back to downloadable content. Today, I'm going to show you, yes, you, Jonathan, how to become a cowboy in Blade and Sorcery. And not just a cowboy, because since Red Dead didn't do it with Rockstar, well, we did it here. Thanks to Vivens and a couple other people, they're bringing us essentially... Undead Nightmare 2, just in VR, so sit back, relax, and let me show you how fantastic this can be. So first things first, check out all the armor set I'm wearing. This is like a cowboy setup. I'm still wearing some, you know, knight stuff and some boots, but I think it really has the part. Also, we have to have a cigar because, you know, I think, I think cowboys do stuff like that. And then we also have this holster right here, which is awesome. You could quickly pull it out right there and then... I haven't loaded this, but you can load it if you want to. And more importantly, look, you could do this type of stuff now. Isn't that really cool? And you're probably wondering how we're doing it. Well, I, I feel like I just explained it, but since you weren't listening, let me show you. So here we have the outlaw section, and the outlaw gives you a way to customize yourself as well as the NPCs, which is so cool. Then we have Vise Guns, a whole bunch of stuff comes with this one. You have ammo pouches, you have rifles, and you have revolvers. So let's get a nice revolver we're going to use today. How about this old Smith & Wesson Schofield? There's also, what is this, the, looks like a cattleman, but let's, boop, put that over there. These also have their own reloading capabilities. So you grab this one here, and you use the use button, and then we are able to load some rounds in here, which we'll do in just a second. I just think it's just so cool. You can't do it when the hammer's pulled back, it has to be in this position to kind of get it back. Then we have the peacemaker right here. So you can actually hold it on, I think this side also. One of these sides, you can just kind of grab it. I'll figure it out, there it is. And then, no, wait, no, hang on. I almost got it. Some of them have a weird spot to hold. It, nope, almost, okay, hang on. Oh, is this the unlimited ammo one? Oh, that's my fault. Aha, there's the one. You grab it on the side here, then you press the use button and now we can load it in. So we're gonna need ammo which is under the ammo category this one should be holding a 45 you just put that run right in there and you can load it up up to a bunch of times and now that it's loaded close that up pull the hammer back and we are good to go and look how sick these spins are i'm doing that by holding down the trigger i'm on the index so i'm holding down the trigger and then i'm going to hold down the use button and we're going to be able to spin this like this one it is awesome and of course i'm throwing some flourish in there because why not always got to look fancy you know unless you drop it then that's on you now we also have some rifles as well so if we go into others you're going to see the springfield model 1884 yeah so this one is excellent um it is a trapdoor loaded one so you actually pull the hammer back you pull it up from here and then you have the appropriate ammo and you put it right in there you close it up by grabbing it as long as it's in there and then you should be able to fire if you don't want to do all this manual stuff, you don't have to. There's an unlimited ammo version of them where you just have to pull the hammer back and then shoot. I mean, half the fun is in reloading these bad boys. Then there's also a speed loader. So if you want to do things more, you know, speed loadery, um, you can easily do that. This one is for the Schofield. So if I were to take that one, open that up, grab the speed loader and kind of just plop that in there. Then we close, pull the hammer back, and we are ready to go. And of course, if I wanted to bring a pouch of that, I could. So if I didn't want to reload this one one at a time, I have a nice speed load. And it looks really cool. I mean, take a look at this. It's a cool one. Then we have some of my favorite ones, which is the Winchester. So I'm going to grab myself a nice Winchester. It is lever action. So if you just go ahead and press the use button right there while not holding down anything, your character will spin to reload. And if you're shooting, you know, you just kind of do that while holding with both hands. But take a look at this animation. 
How cool is that? So let's grab all the equipment that we're gonna be bringing. Now, unfortunately, if you wanna have a whole bunch of manual reloads, well, you lose two equipment slots. And what I mean by that is on my left hip here, I have my ammunition for the Colt I'm gonna be using. And then on my back is the good old Winchester and the ammo for it as well. It's a little unfortunate, but that's how that's gonna work. Now, before I show you some undead nightmare stuff, these are some of the guys that we are gonna be fighting. So this is if you want them to spawn with a regular Schofield. And then I can go actually customize a little bit more so this guy will have a lever action. You want to make sure that you've installed the right stuff, so he should use this. I just kind of wish that the lever action guy wore the cowboy stuff. I don't know why that's not a thing. We're going to have to ask uh, Vi Vince about that one. But I'm very excited to play. Uh, this is going to be so fun. But let's fight some of these guys before, you know, we move on and do some undead nightmare stuff. Now, what would be a good map? I don't really have, like, a big Wild West town. That would be kind of awesome. So I'm thinking probably the market or Citadel, possibly even the canyon. The canyon might be fun because of all the water. Okay, let's go canyon. All right, here we are. I want to make sure I reload before uh, things get a little too heinous. So I'm going to have to do this manually when I need to reload. And when I get tired of doing that, I suppose we can switch the uh, <laughs> unloaded ammo one. But, you know, this is just so fun to do. Same thing goes with the Winchester. We're just going to have to put a bunch of little shots here. So there's a couple of different waves here. There's waves that have... Colts and skull fields. And then there's actually the Wild West one, which you have 1v1s, 1v3s, 5s, and outlaw shootout. So let's feel like um, what this 1v3 is going to be. I'm hoping these guys are wearing the uh, appropriate attire for the occasion. Oh, and I forgot to mention I have my full body tracking on. Just, you know, why not? Whoa! Yeah, we're getting shot at. <laughs> Kiss behind me. Mm. you dead. Why aren't you dying? There we go. This guy's got a lot of health. Oh, he's got a knife? I'm going to be using that knife in a second. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Come on, where's your friend? Get up. Get up. Get red-deaded. Oh, I ran out of ammo. That's not good. Oh, no. I have to reload already? All right, guys. Don't... Oh, they have bows and arrows also? How do you get the old bullets out? Do you don't... How do I unfire? Get these bullets out of here, man. Okay, I legit don't know how to get the, the bullets out of this. Come on. Well, I guess we probably have to use the unlimited ammo one, that's for sure. But that's okay. We have ourselves a nice Winchester. Hey! Ugh, get back! Did you just shoot at me? With an arrow? Don't stand up. You guys are lucky you're not zombies. Well, I guess you're about to be zombies. Can I have that knife? I need to do one of the Red Dead executions, so if you could just give that to me, that would be great. Come on. Come on. <laughs> He's swinging also. Come back here. I just need to get a quick little knife attack. No, you idiot. Oh, come on. Put too much pressure on him. There we go. Red dead execution. Here we come. Look at me in the eyes. Oh, what? No. Well, that was embarrassing, but it's okay. I'm going to use unlimited ammo now because... <laughs> I don't know how that's working. I don't have the brain capacity for that right now, but we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna try this again. 1v5, but now unlimited ammo. Meet me on the bridge, you goobers, and I will, ugh, let's get this going. We have full body tracking cowboy style. Woo hoo! Don't I, oh, what, what are you doing, man? I know this is supposed to be like a Red Dead style. Oh, he's got a gun. Yeah, yeah, this is awesome. Now, I know someone has a bow and arrow. Hey, you have a bow and arrow. You got to get a spaghetti western kill. Oh, that was good. Nope. Oh, my God, this is so cool. All right. Yeah, I don't think so. Champ, you too. See, we need an old western town, like a big town to play on. Oh, he's got a knife. Give me the knife. I need to get a cool style execution. Ugh. Yes. This is it, finally. On the ground with you. Red Dead execution. I've been waiting for this. You can't, no one can stop me. Oh! oh. Block behind me. Hey, hey. No knife. All right? Yeah! Do some twirl moves. I'm flourishing because your friend bought it. Okay, it's really hard to hip fire that. No! <laughs> yes! Good, good, good. 
Your buddy up there won't save you. Dodge. Look directly into the revolver. No, no, no. Look up. Yeah, right, right there. There's a guy behind me, isn't there? Oh! All right, whatever. Your turn. Uh, here, catch. <laughs> I don't like how this guy's aggressively T-posing at me. Yeah! Bring it on! Flourish! Okay, here we go, Deadeye. Oh! Should we show them some undead nightmare? You're, you're, you're about to become an undead nightmare for sure. God, you blocked the scene! Come on! This is fun. See, now, we don't have the lasso, but you want to know what we probably can do? We can use Huge Honor's framework for his, like, bow and arrow. Let's try that. This is the closest thing I have right now. That's a normal arrow, right? Oops, my bad. Oh, no, that's an explosive arrow. <laughs> yeah, it still counts as Wild West stuff. Stop T-posing. You're bothering me. Suck on this. Now we just, um, string him up. So now anyone that rides into town now, they'll know that the gang was here. I don't know what gang, but they'll know that the gang was here. <laughs> Especially that guy. Well, I suppose it's time to show them some zombies. Now, what map would be good for Undead Nightmare? I mean, I suppose the market, right? Nice amount of zombies. The ruins is a little too dark. We're gonna go with the market. Now, I also have a big Bowie knife from the Modern Tactical Knife Pack. So this is straight up Red Dead. Then in the book, we have zombies. 1v1, 1v10, 1v2. Look at all this stuff. It's a lot of stuff in here. I don't even have any friends, but I mean, we might as well make this. Well, let me show you one of the zombies. Let's just do 1v1. That way we can get up and close and personal and all, you know, it'll be fine. You can see all the detail before we start obliterating them. Oh, wow, a nice cleaver. So there is a zombie. They technically look like they're holding weapons, but they'll try to punch you, but it's gonna look like they're swinging. But this is a zombie, look, look. Doesn't that look like a Ricky that died like a while ago? Move this. But yeah, they technically punch, but they don't punch well. I just wanted you to guys see the zombies up close and personal before well, this gets very contextual. We're gonna select 1v10. Here we go. And maybe I'm gonna get like two friends. Let's get two friends once they once they spawn. I don't wanna interact with them just yet. Why is this one so tall? I didn't know they had big tall ones. Arm yourselves, two. We'll give three. There'll be three of them. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, a dead nightmare! Oh, we need a blunderbuss. You know what I actually didn't install that I probably should? Uh, Vivens also made a Gatling gun. In fact, if you guys play your cards right and stick around probably to the end here, we're gonna also show a uh, Gatling gun. Get back. And those are some big boys there. Get back, big boys. My friend is completely surrounded. Look at this! Uh. Yeah! Get back. Disgusting. <laughs> I love this. I think I need to do a full dungeon run like this and change all the enemies to zombies. The zombies uh, don't really care about getting throat slit. That's interesting. Oh. oh my goodness, you are hideous. One, two, three. Yeah. Wow, this is, this is something else, man. Oh, oh my God. The way that one just jumped on me was crazy. Nope. <laughs> Listen, I can tell through the screen how jealous you are, but you can do this. Let me style it on this zombie right now. What are you gonna do? Huh? What are you gonna- Whoa, 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 back up. What are you gonna do? Honestly, there's not much you can do. I'm just styling. All right, this is zombie killing time. Now that you guys have seen some undead nightmare right now, it's probably time to show you guys the Gatling gun that I promised. Since you stuck around- Whoa, big boy, stuck around this far. I can't not show you the Gatling gun right now. So, Gatling. Here we are back on the canyon again. It looks like outlaws came through and got those other guys, which is okay. But let's set up a Gatling gun. Look at this, it's in the machine gun zone. We have the cursed version, and there's an unlimited ammo one. Well, we should probably just spawn this and see where it spawns. Oh boy, is that like a travel size version of it? Oh, this is where a magazine would go. That's cool. Let's get the unlimited ammo one just for the fun of it. We're going to put a bunch of outlaws over here and they're going to have a grand old time coming after me now that I have my Gatling gun. All right, my friends. Cranking it. Is there a way? How do you keep it steady? Oh, you hold the trigger to keep it where you want to go. Like this. And then you crank it. Okay. 
make no sense. Try to get past me. Not even Roroni Kenshin can save you now. And if you guys know what I'm talking about, then you truly understand me. <laughs> Dude, this is absolutely brutal. I was kind of hoping for it also like a stationary one where you could just like plant somewhere and just go like, Die, Eagle Kiwi Bakosai! All right, let's lift him up. He might drop the revolver. There we go. Wow, you did that like very generously. Here, try to use that. I'm excited to see if this man picks that up. Oh my god. Can he use it? You're probably just going to swing it like a Nimrod, aren't you? Well, Nimrod, you could win. All you have to do is figure out how to fire it. I did. Just read the description, right? Right? <laughs> All right, let's round this off with some zombies and then, you know. Bring it on, zombies! Oh, man. They're taking out quite a few of them. This is so fun, though! Get yourself this undead nightmare! Well, my friends, wasn't that a ton of fun? I told you, we have Undead Nightmare in VR now, or pretty closer, right? Man, Blade and Sorcery is so cool, and modders are awesome for making this. Anyway, if you're new to downloadable content, why not subscribe? It's free. Click the big subscribe button down below and join up. I will greatly appreciate it. But other than that, I'm Drifter from Downloadable Content, and I will see you next time.